So here I've got two dogs. One's actually jumped off the counter. They're both identical species, identical breeds. Same, same, but different. Likewise with flooring, laminate and vinyl look the same, but very different. Final, laminate, SPC, modern version of vinyl. From the surface, they all look the same. So how do we identify what is right for us in our job? Laminate floor, wood, wood pulp, melamine surface. Um, you know, we've had this in the market for quite a few years and it's well established, but it's always had the Achilles heel of being susceptible to moisture. So spilling water on it and how it expands and contracts and the various installation parameters or restrictions it puts in place. And also that clickety clack sound, you know, it's never been very desirable, but there are things that you can do to negate majority of that sound in how you install it, how your soft furnishings within your install space are positioned to absorb that reflective sound. And then also with regards to the underlay, you know, the underlay becomes really important as the floor is independent of the substrate and it acts as a total floating floor. So any lumps and bumps that create little hollows underneath the floor, and then also the density of the underlay and how that transfers and bounces sound around the room. So there's quite a few different variables that we need to take into mind when we consider a laminate floor. So let's consider vinyl. Originally vinyl started in the market in slightly thicker, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter. They had various joint mechanisms, pretty much like the laminate, or they had a square edge where they were just loose laid on the floor. Unfortunately for our South African environment, we have a lot of heat. Our living spaces are not as climatically controlled as in the USA or Australia or Europe. We don't have double glazing or triple glazing in all of our buildings. So the, the heat is able to bear down onto the floor and the floor, it's plastic, okay? So it really responds very well, which is a negative, to heat. So heat causes it to expand and then we start getting a whole host of problems. So the product wants to move, it can't push the weight of the surrounding planks around it and it kind of like bubbles up. And that really <laughs> starts to cause major, major issues on various job sites. Where the industry evolved to is we made the product a little bit skinnier and we now bond it to the substrate. So we now go and we glue this directly to the substrate. And what that does is that when it does get exposed to a little bit of heat, it's not able to move around. That glue holds it in place. But because the vinyl is now so thin that it kind of relaxes into whatever the substrate, the lay of the land is. And that really causes blemishes to transfer through the actual skinny product to the surface where you can actually now see all those little lumps and bumps. So now we've had laminate, we've got vinyl, which is now glued down, but there's almost like quite a high desire to have something that actually bridges between the two because laminates are a lot easier to install. Obviously it's a floating floor. You put your underlay down, you click the planks together, which creates a beautiful end result. It's a lot easier to do than going through the whole glue down methodology. The latest option in the market is a solid core vinyl. So here we have a product which is called SPC. Now there's various interpretations of what SPC stands for, uh, solid or stone or plastic or polymer, composite or core. But ultimately it is very similar to a vinyl component, but it's got a key ingredient of calcium carbonate on the inner, inner core, which is limestone. So there's minimal, air component so it's very dense very solid and makes the product very rigid so this rigidity is great because now we can mill in our joint structures we can click it and install it like a laminate floor and it can bridge slight undulations in the substrate so you don't have to be have to be as pedantic 
as you would with a vinyl, traditional vinyl product, because those little lumps and bumps or like the graft lines on tiles are not going to be able to telegraph through. But the problem with this product is it's a lot more expensive and because it's so dense, the sound and the feel of the product can be a little bit hard on the ear and on the foot. Generally, they all come with a built-in underlay. Various options are available from cork, IXPE, or uh, various rubber components, but it is a lovely product. Pretty much all of these products, cleaning and maintenance are pretty much all the same. SPC is a lot more resistant to heat and temperature. So this actually really suits the South African environment where it's rigid, it can be installed very quickly, very easily, but you don't have to worry about the sun bearing down on the product. When we look at purchasing one of these various products, we need to consider how resistant it's going to be in your conditions. These laminates have been very resistant to sun. They have proven themselves as a high UV resistance in color retention. You know, they, 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 they work, high scratch resistance. Um, they really have proven themselves and that's why they became so popular as they did. When we start looking at vinyls, they've been built slightly differently and the vinyls, they do bleach out. They do change color with direct sunlight. So you've got to be a lot more careful when you are considering a vinyl. They can turn green, they can fade out. So direct sunlight for a couple of hours every day, it's going to be a problem. So you're going to have to consider either UV protection on the windows or a pergola or some kind of screening or closing of the blinds during the main sunny periods of the day. And that, that's a bit restrictive. So think about it carefully on what's going to be suitable for your install. When we look at SPC, SPC, although it's using very similar technologies to the vinyl, I have my personal experience is that it's been a lot more resistant to UV discoloration or fading. The extra ceramic bead protection for scratching and the higher quality UV coatings is definitely making a difference. So it's definitely something, something to consider when you're looking at your various options. When we consider scratching for laminates, vinyl, SBC, laminates have a melamine finish with an aluminum oxide coating. So that, that surface, and because the planks are so rigid, that surface is, it's really intense. Let's get some keys here. You know, they really are hardcore and I'm sure you've received that kind of demonstration in most of the various retailers or box stores. So there, there's a lot to be said for scratch resistance and we've really become accustomed to that scratch resistance when we've been exploring various products. When we start looking at the various vinyls though, because various, the, the various vinyls have been quite flexible, they've had a, a thin layer of clear plastic that has been sandwiched on the surface and then they have various UV polyurethane lacquers that are then coated on, on top. Now those UV lacquers or scratch resistance lacquers, they, are, they do very well. You know, I'm not gonna knock them. They, they do very well with regards to scratch resistance, but they're not as strong as a laminate. So you're gonna definitely need those carpet coasters when you're moving furniture around. It can scratch. So be careful, understand that not every product is bulletproof and there's various scales of scratch resistance. And this definitely it falls underneath laminates. Laminates are a lot stronger. So when we consider SBC, obviously it's a much more rigid product. They've got various ceramic bead or silica bead coating systems to them. They are highly scratch resistant, but they're not bulletproof again, and they are not as good as the laminates. So you still have to be careful. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, please share it on with your clients who are a little bit confused about the different products, or let your team know that they need to sell the right product to the right environment. And even though you're going against other competitive quotes, you say, listen, I can give you option A and what you've asked for, but my professional opinion is option B in that it's going to last longer, it's going to service you better, and these are the reasons why. I think if people are given clear information to make an informed decision, you're going to get a lot more secure and safe installations, happier customers for the long term, better business referrals and word of mouth compliments. It's it's just it's it's a no-brainer of when you give the right information, you do the job right the first time. Job satisfaction. Thank you. Thanks squad.